Welcome back to Dano Does Things. If you have ever wanted to get into needle felting but don't know where to start, good news, you can start right here. I'll be going over the basic tools you will need to start needle felting either 3D or flat works of art. Of course, the most basic tool you will need is the felting needle. Felting needles have these tiny barbs on the end. When you put them into the fiber you're working with, the barbs will catch and tangle the fibers, causing them to mat together, which is really all needle felting is. There are a few different kinds of needles and needle holders. To start, all you really need is a basic single needle. One with a handle like this is great for beginners. You can also get multi-needle handles. This one is a three needle handle and this one is a five needle handle. They are great for felting quickly and efficiently, especially over large surfaces. If you are looking to up your game, felting needles also come in various sizes, the most common being coarse and fine. Coarse needles are used for felting quickly or felting large areas and fine needles are used for detail. You can get packs of multi-sized needles and an interchangeable ergonomic handle, which is super handy. After you have a felting needle or two, the next thing you need is a felting surface. This will be used to support the piece you are creating and to protect yourself and your needle. There are a multitude of options, each with their own pros and cons. A lot of the basic kits come with foam blocks as felting supports. The pros of foam blocks are that they are fairly cheap and easy to come by, very lightweight and portable, and come in lots of sizes. The cons are that they need replacing a fair amount, especially if you're a little heavy-handed with your felting, so they can be a bit wasteful, and I personally don't love the squeaky feeling or sound they make when I'm felting. Another type of felting surface is this brush style. The pros of the brushes is that they very rarely need replacing and they offer a very sturdy surface to felt on, especially if you ever use things like cookie cutters as templates. The cons are that they are fairly heavy and don't come in very large sizes and are not inexpensive. My personal favorite is one that I made, which may seem ambitious for a beginner, but I just wanted to provide some options. The pros of this is that you can make it whatever size you want, or even what shape you'd like, and it lasts a very long time. The con is that you do have to make it yourself, or buy one online, which can be a bit expensive. At the end of the day, what kind of felting surface you use comes down to personal preference, but you can't go wrong starting with a foam block. The last thing you really need before starting needle felting is material to felt with. Now, you might go to a big box store and find basic wool roving for pretty cheap, but even for beginners, I would advise hitting up a local yarn store and finding some Cordale wool. The price is comparable, for example, I got 80 gram variety pack of wool at the box store for $14, and a 100 gram variety pack of Cordale wool for $18, that's $1.75 and $1.80 per 10 grams respectively, but the quality makes a world of difference. Of course, if all you have is access to the regular wool, don't let that stop you. The Cordale wool is just much nicer to work with, and your pieces will come together quicker and with less fuzz. I also personally like the hand dyed style wool because then you get a color variety within each color. As for what colors to get started with, white or undyed wool is a good staple to have, otherwise just think about what project you want to do and grab those colors. Variety packs are usually an easy way to get lots of colors, though you end up with ones you might not need. So a felting needle, a felting surface, and some fiber are all you really need to get started, but I will give you a bonus recommendation. A thimble. It can be super handy especially when you're just starting or when you're working on a detail where you need to hold the fiber down. You now have all you need to start needle felting. If you have any questions about specific tools, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, you can check out my channel for some beginner project inspiration. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week.